Okay, so we've got her all mixed up. I've used the uh, supplied black coloring that came along. Now the big thing is you don't have to work real fast. You've got you've got time with this stuff. So we'll start from the back here. Now I'm going to want it to work it down in there. So I've got a, uh, a little toothpick here. Get that in there. And so work it right down in there. Air bubbles are not your friend with this stuff. So you want to get it in there fairly, fairly well. One of the tricks I learned when I was working at the gun shop for David is just spritz a little WD-40 in a little puddle for yourself and uh, a little bit of WD in each end of that. WD-40 does not react with the uh, acro glass and you can actually use it to fill it right in and, and top dress it fairly well. So you can see here why we put the, um, the plasticine in. Keeps all that uh, acroglass from uh, going down inside the uh, action or the uh, stock. And just make a little bit less cleanup time. Now this is all going to squeeze out and we'll clean that up after once we get this we'll put the action back in well, this stuff is sticky and messy so keep it contained and uh, keep it in one spot as best you can A little bit in here just to get a nice tight fit along here. Now remember, anywhere you don't have it, you're gonna want it, you're gonna have to clean it up. So you wanna you don't want to be too cheap with the acyl glass so things don't uh, get coated, but you don't want it everywhere as well. Alright? Remember the whole point of this is to have a nice solid surface for your bed, for your action to sit up on. Make sure you get that right down into those holes that you've made for yourself. That'll really help the uh, macro glass get right in there. I always leave it slightly proud, a little high. You leave it up just a little bit high, then you know you're going to have full contact with your receiver, and that's what it's all about, remember? You're getting a good contact with your receiver and keeping up the edges nice and square. Okay, that looks like about right. Now, the moment of truth, guys. You're going to have a little bit extra. You're always well. So, we get our action that we've uh, that we've all got up, cleaned up with plasticine and all that kind of good stuff. Just going to give it a light spritz of the old WD-40. Now we line it up. I 
I'll drop her right in. Okay. Now, what we want to do now, there's a couple of trains of thoughts on this. Uh, some guys will actually take their uh, trigger guard and snap it back into place. I find that puts just a little bit too much tension on it. Get that down in there. <clears throat> I just tape the heck of it. Take tape the heck out of it. <clears throat> let's clean up our there's no let's take our clean uh, just clean along the edge the best we can along the back where it's squeezed out along the edges like that Duct tape will work as well. I just happen to have a whole bunch of black tape that I use at work all the time. And we'll pull this out. Bring it out a little bit farther here so everybody can see what's going on. Tighten it up there. tight in there. You don't want to squeeze all your product out. And there we are. All right. Now you'll leave her sit for about 12 hours. If you're the religious type, say a prayer. Ava Maria. I haven't had too many fails on this, actually only one. But the big thing is that uh, if you put the release agent on, that's the big thing. There we are. We'll probably just end up sanding that down a bit. All right, guys. We want a little bit of upward tension here. Looks like we're going to have. Now, we got her taped up. We got a clamp on it, which we probably didn't need to put on, but I just wanted to make sure we had a, a good solid uh, go into the bedding area. We'll take her out of the vise, we'll flip it over, we'll check out from the underneath, make sure we don't have a whole bunch of excessive product coming out. And if we do, We'll make sure we clean that up while it's still uh, still soft. You can see there's some along the edge we can get at and there's some along the front but it will clean up fairly nicely because we used uh, pretty liberal on our mold release agent and all that kind of good stuff. Alright guys, more later. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. Let's see how this uh, bedding job turned out. So we're just going to cut our black tape. Now, what I used to do in the gun shop, I don't really know if it, you need to do it, but it's just something that we always did at the gun store, was gave it a spritz of WD-40 just to help it, uh, help it uh, release. So I'll just give it a little shot. The idea was that it's kind of almost like a little hydraulic effect on it that will get a little bit of liquid in there and, and help pop it out. At least, at least that's how the gunsmith explained it to me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hold the rifle, we're going to support it with our thumb and uh, forefinger like this, and we're just going to take the barrel down here, and we're just going to tap the end of it on a piece of 
and soft. All right, looks like we got her. All right, success. Sometimes they uh, give you a lot more of a fight. Here, this looks like it's going to come right off. All right, look at that. There we are. All right, beauty. Okay, success. And it's always great when the bedding, bedded action just pops right out like that. That's fantastic. All right, let's get a close up of that here, guys. Okay, here we go. Looks pretty darn good. Yes, it does. All right, you see right there? That's where you can actually see the machine marks of the metal. That's gone on really nice along through here. And I've got a little bit of a void there. That's not so good. Could have used a little bit more bedding compound in there, but that happens once in a while. Nice full contact along here. Nice full contact all the way in there. We've got a little bit inside here that needs to be cleaned up. A little bit in here that needs to be cleaned up. We'll just take a rasp and a dremel and get in here and clean all this stuff up. We'll get onto that and uh, we'll show you the finished product. Mm -hmm.